I wanted to know what the world was made of. I found that doing theoretical physics was just compelling more than anything else I knew. Sidney Drell's quest to better understand the fundamental forces that make up our universe led him to Stanford, where for more than 40 years he taught and pursued his theoretical studies. The great laboratories that were started right after World War II thrived. Accelerators of high energy physics were being built and whole new worlds to explore, probing what the world was made of in terms of elementary particles and the forces that bind them together was an exceedingly exciting thing. In 1960, Drell joined with other prominent academic scientists to counter potential U.S. security threats from emerging technologies. To try and avoid the nightmare of a nuclear war was equally compelling as trying to have the dream of discovering uh, what the structure of nature was. We were up against a, a country that was quite hostile toward us ideologically this, in the Soviet Union and they had an iron curtain, and it was very hard to know what was going on there. The only way to find out was to have some ways to pierce the iron curtain, and we did that with electronic reconnaissance satellites in space. And it was very important to do that because the more you understand, the more likely you are to behave rationally. I believe it's almost a miracle that we've had this incredibly effective and terrible weapon, and we've not used it for 67 years. I think that is a cause for optimism. We create new technologies that affect the conditions of life and survival on Earth. I think as a community, we have an obligation to help society understand the implications of these new technologies that result from our discoveries.